Hello everyone, this is Manali Mishra from KP Classes and today in this video we will try to understand the exam pattern for JE Mains Paper 2. Now you might be aware that there are two examinations like two major examinations if you want to get into an architecture college, if you want to pursue architecture, two major examinations in India. One is your NATA. The other one is your JE Mains Paper 2. So the exam pattern, the syllabus for the NATA examination, we have already discussed that in our other videos. You can go and watch the, those videos. They are already up on our channel. In this particular video, we will specifically focus on JE Mains Paper 2. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the name of examinations is JE Mains Paper 2. Now there are two papers in JE Mains, Paper 1 and Paper 2. So paper one is something that your engineering students, the pe people who want to, you know, pursue B.Tech after class 12, they appear for. And paper two is what your architecture uh, aspirants appear for. So the organizing body is NTA for both the papers, basically your national testing agency, that is your organizing body. And one thing that you have to understand, even this paper two has two parts of it. Parts or I should say basically two sections or two types in it. You have the JE means 2A that is for your B arc and then you have JE means 2B that is for your B plan. So basically when you appear for examination you will be given the option to select you want to appear for 2A or 2B. So if you are an uh, architect aspirant if you want to pursue architecture you will be selecting 2a whereas if you are a b plan aspirant and you want to you know basically pursue planning after your class 12 you will be selecting 2b so in this particular video we'll be very specifically talking about the exam pattern for your br we'll be uh, making a different uh, video for your b plan as well but here we'll be specifically talking about your 2a so JE means paper 2A, which is for your BR aspirants. Let's try to see the overall general information about it. So this examination is a complete computer-based examination, except for the drawing part. Okay. So there are three sections. First, what you need to understand is there are three sections. There is mathematics sec section, there's aptitude section, and there is drawing test. So mathematics and aptitude is basically your computer based. There will be MCQ questions. You will be in front of a computer. Basically, it's an online based examination and the answers will be filled accordingly. Whereas your drawing test will be a pen and paper based. You'll be given a question, maybe, you know, draw a scene of a local market area or draw a scene of a rural village area. So you will be given, you'll take your own stationery. You'll be given a pen, paper and you have to sketch out. So these two are your computer based and this is your pen paper based format overall the time that you get for this examination is three hours for general candidates but if you are somebody with uh, you know physical disability or a differently abled aspirant basically you get four hours that is one hour extra time the total marks for this examination is 400 and this examination is conducted in 13 different languages. We will get into a little bit about that also. What are the different languages and how, which are the centers that you can apply for if you want to basically, uh, you know, give the, appear for this examination in a certain language. So there are 13 different languages in which this particular examination is conducted. And overall, if I have to say, then each here also, every question has four marks and there is negative marking in both your sections of mathematics and aptitude okay so both for your mathematics and aptitude you have basically negative marking and there are four marks for every section now let me just give you a little bit brief about what the languages are you can see there is a list of languages here english india samiz bengali gujarati basically all the languages and the exam center so there are specific exam centers in which specific languages are uh, test in specific languages are you know conducted so if you want to basically appear for the examination maybe Gujarati or in Bengali so if it, if you want to appear in Gujarati you have to appear for centers in Gujarat, Daman, Diu, Dadra, Nagar, Haveli basically those centers similarly if you want to appear in Odia then you have to uh, you know appear in exam centers in 
Odisha only. So you have to while filling the form only you have to be a bit vigilant. You have to see which language you are comfortable in and accordingly you have to select your centers. So you can you know later on I have given the list you can later on pause this slide and see that uh, which are the centers for different languages. Let's get into the marking scheme. So we have already seen we have what mathematics, we have aptitude and we have drawing test. Basically, you have three sections that this entire examination is divided into. In mathematics, you have total 25 questions, 20 questions in your MCQ format and the other 10 questions are in your basically numerical value format. That means you will be given a question. In MCQ, you have four options, whereas in this, you'll have a box. You'll be given a box, basically, in which you have to input the value. For example, the answer is 68, so you have to input the value 68. So, there are 10 such questions. And out of these 10 questions, you have to just appear for, uh, you know, basically, uh, uh, attempt five questions. So, 20 plus 5, you're 25. And as we already talked about it, that every question has four marks. So, total marks for your mathematics se section is 100. Then we come to your other section that is your aptitude section which is one of the very major sections. You have 50 questions, again 4 marks each, total 200 marks. And finally, your drawing test. So, in drawing test, you will be basically having only 2 questions in which you have to sketch out. And each question will have 50 marks. So, that is of your 100 marks. So, you can see the major number of marks is in your aptitude and then you have 100, 100 marks each for drawing and mathematics section. So total you have 400 marks and there are 82 questions again which has to be attempted in 3 hours. So this is basically a marking scheme that is how your entire question paper or marks or uh, you know are divided into the 3 sections. So this is the exam pattern for your JE mains paper 2. If you have any other query feel free to drop your queries in the comment box below and also we have we will be launching basically a 51 day course in which all your syllabus for NATA and also for JE mains will be covered A to Z in the course in the basically period of 51 days. So make sure to subscribe to the KP channel so that you can stay updated with any kind of uh, you know new updates that are coming. Thank you very much.